The federal government is preparing to send out direct payments to Americans as this pandemic ramps up. People will receive up to $1,200 and couples will receive up to $2,400. Here with us now to talk more about the stimulus plan is Congresswoman Rosa DeLora. And Congresswoman DeLora, great to see you. Good to see you, Dennis. I hope you and your family are safe and your viewers are safe as well. We are you know, keeping as safe as we can. And I wanted to ask the same of you and Stanley. How are you doing? How are you? Yes, uh, we are. Our kids are good. Our grandkids are good. We're you know, uh, my grandkids are good at the technology, so we Zoom and uh, able to see them. And even though we can't hold them and hug them, we can see them and know that they're safe. And they know more than we do about the technology. All right, Congresswoman, right. Uh, first question, what is exactly in this stimulus that's going to help people survive financially? Sure. Well, look, first of all, I think we have to put it in perspective. This is the biggest economic and health care crisis the country has ever, ever seen or faced. And it's the biggest governmental response the country has seen. It is about rescuing people, the economy, our health care system, and it's necessary. So uh, the most recent bill that was passed last Friday includes we've got public health infrastructure. That's for our hospitals and the personal protective equipment. There's $100 billion for hospitals, health care providers. What we are looking at is what you pointed out is that income assistance, $1,200 in one-time payment per adult. And that's up to people who make $75,000 in annual income, $150,000 for joint filers. And for joint filers, you get $2,400. A child gets $500. So those are, uh, uh, and uh, those checks are anticipated to go out uh, in the next two or three weeks, as I understand it. There's also the increase for expanded unemployment benefits. There will be six hundred dollars a week that is in addition to the other ui benefits that you may receive uh and and by the way if you are a part-time employee uh then it will be prorated for the hours that you are 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 are, are, are working now this will extend for four months so that try to bring people up to 100 percent of wage replacement and then if you are running out of weeks there's an additional 16 weeks that you will be able to take advantage of. I think one of the strongest pieces of this of this uh, uh, a package are the UI benefits and the income uh, assistance as well. The other piece that is very strong is relief for small business owners, nonprofits, those who are self-employed, uh, loans and grants. Uh, for the for the first time, there will be grants made okay. uh, for, for folks. You know, Congressman, okay. I want to jump in for just one quick second. Yesterday, the governor said that the national stockpile is empty. There's right. nothing left in there to help out. How does that happen, and who's to blame for that? Well, let, let me just say this. We, we put in this bill $16 billion for the strategic national stockpile. It's a very it's an issue uh, that, that I'm very, very concerned about. As a matter of fact, uh, in, a, in a short time, in a very few minutes, I'm going to be on the phone with the FEMA director, FEMA. I want to find out exactly what is in the stockpile. What do we have? What don't we have? So my sense is that we may have been getting material that's been coming in and it's distributed. But I have the same question that you did. Uh, 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 why would there be nothing in the stockpile? We just have uh, appropriated $16 billion. Uh, I, I, will, I will be honest with you. The president should have triggered the Defense Production Act, which then is a requirement for the uh, uh, the production of the material that is that is needed. So I'm going to take a very very hard look at that, and also to find out what's the criteria okay. for getting the material out. How much do we have? How much is the state of Connecticut going to be able to get? Congresswoman Rosa Delora, we thank you so much for being with us, and stay safe. Thank you. You too, my dear. Take care, all of.